Grace. Yes, sir. I will send him right in. Thank you. Mr. Shelby, Mr. Ford will see you now. All right. This guy. This way, Mr. Shelby. Mr. Ford, gentlemen, Shelby. Give me one reason why I don't fire everyone associated with this abomination, starting with you. Well, sir, I was thinking about that very question as I sat out there in your lovely waiting room. As I was sitting there, I watched that little red folder right there go through four pairs of hands before it got to you. Of course, that doesn't include the 22 or so other Ford employees who probably poked at it before it made its way up to the 19th floor. All due respect, sir, you can't win a race by committee. You need one man in charge. Now, the good news, as I see it, is that even with all the extra weight, we still managed to put old Mr. Ferrari exactly where we want him. Did we? Oh, yes. Expand. Well, sure, we hadn't, we haven't worked out how to corner yet. Or stay cool. Or stay on the ground. And a lot of stuff broke. In fact, the only thing that didn't break was the brakes. Hell, right now, we don't even know if our paint job will last a whole 24 hours. But our last lap, we clocked 218 miles an hour down the Mulsanne Strait. Now, in all his years of racing, old Enzo ain't never seen anything move that fast. And now he knows, without a doubt, we're faster than he is. Even with the wrong driver and all the committees. And that's what he's thinking about. Now he's sitting in Modena, Italy, right now. That man is scared to death that this year you actually might be smart enough to start trusting me. So yeah, I'd say you got Ferrari exactly where you want him. You're welcome. <laughs>